Hi, it's Dee Dee here and I'm here to tell you one of my jukebox stories called The Little Fish with the Golden Tail. In a pond, not too far from here, there lives a little fish. He has a wonderful floaty golden tail, but he doesn't know it's his tail. He thinks it's treasure and he spends day after day swimming around and around and around the pond, trying to catch his tail. But of course, he never manages it. So one day he decided to get some help from his friends who live in the pond. First of all, he went to Frog because he knew that Frog could leap quite a long way and that Frog might just be able to catch the treasure for him. So he shouted up to Frog, 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 can you help me? I want to get this treasure. If you can help me catch it, you can have a share of it. Frog looked down from his lily pad. Silly little fish, he said, that's your tail. Oh, no, 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 said little fish. That's treasure. Will you help me? Well, Frog thought he would try and help little fish and show him that it was actually his tail. So. He gathered himself up and jumped the biggest jump he'd ever done off his lily pad and into the water. But Little Fish was too fast. Why did you try and jump on me, said Little Fish. You were supposed to catch the treasure. Well, Little Frog just shook his head. In all the commotion and all the noise, Water Boatman heard. Water Boatman's a little beetle that runs across the top of the water. And he swam across to see what was going on. What's going on here, he said. I'm trying to get this treasure, said Little Fish. Will you help me? If you can, because you're really fast, if you can get the treasure, then I'll give you a share of it. Well, Water Boatman looked at Little Fish. He said, silly fish, that's your tail. No, no, it's not, said Little Fish. It's treasure. Please, can you help me? Well, Water Boatman also wanted to help Little Fish, just like Frog. And so he pushed down through the water, which is quite hard for a Water Boatman. Pushed down hard to try and get to the tail, but Little Fish was too fast and pew, off he went. Why did you try and jump on me, said Little Fish? I didn't, said Water Boatman. I was trying to get to your tail. But that's not my tail, it's treasure, said the little fish. You two are no good. I'm off to find a bigger fish to help me. I'm off to find Pike, said little fish. Now, that didn't sound like a good idea, did it? Because Pike was the biggest, meanest fish in the whole pond. And he had a huge mouth, but he was good at catching fish. Little Fish knew that Pike wasn't a very nice fish, but he was also a very brave fish. So Little Fish went off to see if Pike could help. Off into the middle of the pond he went, pushing his way through the reeds into the middle, into the deepest, darkest bit of the pond. And there was Pike snoozing. Pike, said Little Fish. Pike, can you help me? Well, Pike wasn't used to his dinner coming right up to him and asking for help. And he was quite surprised. What do you want, Little Fish? He said. I want you to help me catch this treasure, said Little Fish. And if you do, you can have a share of it. Ha! <laughs> That's your tail, Little Fish. It's not my tail, said Little Fish. It's treasure. Okay, said Pike. He was more than happy to try and catch Little Fish. And so he sprung out of the reeds and swam towards Little Fish who dashed off around the pond and round and round they went, Pike chasing the Little Fish and then all of a sudden, boom, Pike got Little Fish's tail. And then, ow, Little Fish, 
flew up into the air, out of the pond and into another pond, over a field away. It's quite a long way for a fish to fly, isn't it? Thankfully, he landed okay in the water, in a pond where there were no pike. But when little fish turned around, he saw that there was a little tiny piece of his tail missing. So Pike had got his piece of treasure. And little fish finally realised that it wasn't treasure. It was his golden tail. And the moral of this story is, sometimes people can see things that you can't. Hi. I recorded that story a year ago now and I still tell that story at uh, festivals, at parties and at community events. And if you'd like to find out where I am telling my jukebox story stones next, uh, you can go to my website here along the bottom, ddstoryteller.co.uk. And you can also follow my adventures on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter if you're a tweeter. Now, if you stick with me, uh, I have a little activity for you after this, uh, which is perfect for March. Uh, you can go down to your local pond or river and have a little look and see what the wildlife is down there. So um, stick with me and you can see that video afterwards. If you like this video, give it a little thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Toodle pip!